In the last lecture, we had a high level overview of what is Webpack and what do we use it for. Now in this lecture, we are going to install Webpack for our project and also its dependencies. And to do that, let's go to VS Code. Here, I have already opened VS Code built-in terminal where currently the TSC command is running in watch mode. I'm going to stop that first by pressing Ctrl C. Let me clear the terminal here. And now we are going to install Webpack and its dependencies for this project. But before we do that, first we are going to create the package.json file for this project. Currently, if you see, for this project, we don't have any package.json file. But since we are going to use some third party libraries here, we also need package.json file. And for that, all we have to do is we have to type npm init command. If I press enter here, it will ask us some questions. For example, what should be the package name? I'm going to call the package name same as the project name. I'll press enter. I'll keep the version as 1.0.0. I'm not going to add any description. Here, we need to provide the entry point. So for the entry point, I'm going to provide app.js. Let's press enter. Then if we have any test commands, that also we can specify here, but I'm going to keep it empty. Git repository also, I'm going to keep it empty for now. And keywords also empty. Author, let me put my name. But if you want, you can also keep it empty. Let's press enter. Then it is asking for license. Again, I'm going to keep the default one, which is ISC. And now if I expand this terminal, you will see that this is the content which will be generated in our package.json file. So here it is asking whether I'm okay with this content or not. So I'll simply type yes and I'll press enter. And with that, it should create a package.json file in our project. So now if I expand this, you will see that here we have package.json. Okay, so this is the name of the project, version, description, what is the entry point? We have specified app.js. Then we have the script, author and license. Now we are going to install Webpack from NPM and its dependencies. So for that, we can use npm install command. And I want to install Webpack as well as its dependencies as a dev dependency. For that, I can use hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. So using this, we are telling that these dependencies, these third party libraries, which we are going to install here, it is going to be a dev dependency. Now, what do we want to install? We want to install Webpack. We want to install Webpack CLI. Then we want to install Webpack dev server. And I'll explain the use of each of these packages in a bit. Then we also want to install TypeScript for this project. Now we have already installed TypeScript globally in the very beginning of this course. But here I also want to install TypeScript for this project. And I will explain why in a bit. And finally, I also want to install TS Loader. Let's press enter and it should start downloading and installing these packages for this project from NPM. So let's wait for the installation to complete. All right, so the installation is complete. And now if I expand this project folder structure, there you will see one new folder called node modules. And inside this node modules, we will have the files related to each of these dependencies, which we have just now installed and their dependencies. So the dependencies which we have installed right now, the third party libraries which we have installed right now, it will also have some dependency on some other libraries. So those will also get installed when we install these packages and that will be available inside this node modules folder. But we don't need to worry about this node modules folder here. Now, if we have a look at this package.json file, there you will see that a new property called dev dependencies have been added. And there we can see the version of the installed libraries, which we have just installed. So we installed TS loader. It is the version which has been installed for that. We installed TypeScript. So TypeScript version five is installed here. Then we installed Webpack. For that also, the version is 5.92.1. Then we install Webpack CLI and Webpack Dev Server. Now let's understand what we are going to use each of these for. And let's start with Webpack. So as we have learned earlier, 
Webpack is a free and open source tool which we are going to use or which is going to help us bundle our code and minify it in a single JavaScript file. Then we also have Webpack CLI. Now we have installed this Webpack CLI because we want to run some Webpack commands and for that we need a command line interface and that command line interface is this Webpack CLI. Then we have installed this Webpack dev server. That's because this Webpack dev server, it provides us a built-in development server where the compiled application will run and it starts Webpack under the hood. And it also watches for any changes which we make in our file. And once we save those changes, it will automatically recompile the code again and it will update the UI. So this Webpack dev server is basically going to provide us a live development server where this application will run. And we will see that in action in one of the coming lectures. Then we also have installed TypeScript here. Now you might ask, we have already installed TypeScript globally when we started this course. Then why do we need to install TypeScript for this project here? That's because it is always a good practice to install TypeScript per project so that for that project, you get a specific TypeScript version. The advantage here is that if you ever change your global TypeScript version, let's say in the future when the new version of TypeScript will come and you install that TypeScript version globally, it will not break your project setup. And if there is any breaking changes in the newer version, it will not affect your current project. And that's why we are installing TypeScript also for this particular project. We already have TypeScript globally installed, but for this project also, we have installed this TypeScript so that in future when we will change the TypeScript version globally, when we will install the newer version of TypeScript in our machine globally, it will not change the version of TypeScript which we are using for this project. And in that way, it will not break any changes, any code which we have written for this project. Okay. And finally, we have also installed this TS loader. Now, TS loader is a package which we will use together with Webpack. This package tells Webpack how to convert TypeScript code to JavaScript so that Webpack is able to compile the TypeScript code as well as bundle it into a single file. So by default, Webpack will not know what it has to do with TypeScript files. We need to tell Webpack that it has to compile the TypeScript file and it needs to create a bundled JavaScript file from the compiled TypeScript code. And for that, we need TS loader. All right, so the Webpack and its dependencies are installed. Now we need to do the Webpack setup in our project and that we will do in our next lecture. If you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.